Meanwhile, two pupils who were missing from the primary school in Kaduna earlier attacked by gunmen have been found. Uh, similarly, two teenagers kidnapped about a week ago have been rescued from the forest in the state. The teenagers confessed to have experienced hard times in the hands of their abductors. In the meantime, the National Association of Nigerian Students, NANS, has issued a 72-hour ultimatum for abducted students in the state to be released. When the boys saw them, they now went back. Okay, sorry. Well, how were you coping in one week? What was you eating and all of that? Throughout, it was just spaghetti and macaroni. They would mix it with red oil and put salt. That's all. We are calling on the federal government, the state government and the local government. Every government in the country and the management of the institution that we want our colleagues to return back unarmed. And we are given 72 hours ultimatum. Well, let's bring in a journalist who works in Kaduna for more on this development. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. About four kidnaps in Kaduna State alone in, uh, in, in, in recent times. Talk to us about what you have gathered about why these incidents keep happening. If you can hear me, I am asking what you have been able to gather as a journalist, a member of the fourth estate of the realm, about these kidnapping activities in Kaduna. Okay, um, my name is Glamy Sadiq. I work with Daily Cross newspaper. So far, we have gathered that uh, some of the about three people who were earlier abducted, but they were able to uh, regain their freedom earlier this evening. We learned from teachers from the community and also some community leaders uh, that three of these students of, of primary three and that somehow I think the bandits were distracted when they tried to rustle some cattle and also motor, steal some motorcycles. So it gave them opportunities to run away. And from our discussion with some of the teachers, these uh, students have been beaten by the bandits, but they are safe. But uh, some of the vigilantes from the community also were in pursuit of the bandits after this attack this morning. But uh, they came back unsuccessful because they were unable to locate the bandits. So, so far, that's what we're getting from the community, from teachers and some community leaders. And another thing is that there's a lot of fear in the community. Parents are apprehensive about sending their children to school. Uh, we learned that the bandits came in about 12 motorcycles. Six of them went directly into the school compound. They started with primary five and six. And some of the teachers saw the students running out. And so, of course, they alerted other students to run for safety. So, so far, that is what we have gathered. All and right. you know that our building worry in Kaduna State, together with other local governments like Chikun, Igabi, and Giwa, are some of the deadly areas where banditry activities have been rampant for a while now. Yes. All right. Uh, you have mentioned just now that banditry has been rampant in some communities in Kaduna in recent times. But have you noticed an improvement of sort in uh, the security architecture around educational institutions and in the communities in general these times? Well, we we'll say that, of course, um, there's been increased security presence in some of these places. But, of course, we know that the security uh, agents are not enough and they are not everywhere. What we are getting from mostly community members is that these bandits are working with a lot of informers. So they have a lot of information on what is happening within the community. And then another thing we are getting is that there's a lot of fear among community members. People fear to bring, to report information because... People are being targeted by the bandits, and then people fear that there may not be confidentiality with security agents. So sometimes you find a situation whereby community members know certain people are informers or are criminals, but they are unable to speak out. 
because they fear that they may be targeted by these bandits and they also fear that security agents may not keep their information in confidence. All right. I must sincerely appreciate you. Thank you for joining us at this time. Keep up the work you're doing. You're welcome.